we have a question from a sweet sister in Christ from Kenya. That is so cool that you're from Kenya. I'm honored that you found me all the way out here from Texas. Me and my wiener dog says hi. Say hi, Ellie. Ellie, look. Anyway, she's just wondering that, you know, she has a call from God, but it seems like the, the, the stresses of life, the wages of sin try to overtake you. And I've definitely been that before. I've definitely been there before and still fight. Um, you, you may feel like God's disappointing at you, of, in you or that God can't use you right now. But I've seen so many times that when we try to perfect ourselves, or when we think that, oh, when I, when I get through watching, I'm battling with porn. When I get through watching porn, then God could use me. Or when I get through, when I get done with this addiction, then God can use me. Or if I get through, if I get out of this relationship, then God can use me. We try to fix ourselves. It's just good intentions because we don't want to just be in habitual sin. But if we're really fighting, if we're really struggling, we prolong God using us because we think that we're not good enough yet when sometimes when we he can use us in the midst of our sin you know what i mean and i'm not saying this as an excuse to continue to sin but i'm saying in our weakness his strength is made perfect sometimes when we're so weak that's when god can be so strong in us if we just allow him to and sometimes we can be so we want to be so perfect like perfect for him and catch what i mean when i mean perfect for in a in a, in a bad sense of perfect like i have to just like it's like I have to do this, I have to do that, I have to do that, I have to do that. That's the bad sense. But being perfect for him, meaning like I want to please him. I want to. Now he sees the, he sees your heart. Only the pure in heart will see God. So God knows if you have a pure heart, like man, God, I want to serve you. Man, I keep falling, falling into this temptation, to this lust, to these evil desires, to this addiction. But I hate it. Lord, please help me. I want you to. I want you to use me. So just listen to the Holy Spirit. If he if he tells you to write that book write that blog post start singing those gospel songs you're called as a gospel artist whatever god's called you to do don't just hold yourself back because that's disobedience and disobedience is a sin of witchcraft rebellion is a sin of witchcraft so god can use you right where you are god can use you in the midst of your sin god can burst something out of you in the midst of something great because i'm a i'm a witness of that fell into something god used me greatly like hours after like god is so good and his ways are higher than our ways and his thoughts are higher than our thoughts so we may think if we're in something he can't use us god don't think like that yes he doesn't want you to bleed out your failures in order that it will hurt some that it will hurt somebody you know what i mean but he doesn't think like us. His power is made perfect in our weakness. And when we really understand that, we understand the gospel and we understand that God is for us. So thank you so much for sending in your question and thank you for watching.